Brothers and sisters, remember as well that this whole life, according to our religion, is a life of tests and trials. And therefore, every one of us will be tested and tried in different ways. But all of us are tested and tried. And the one major mechanism to overcome and pass those tests and trials is what? It is patience. And that is why Allah says, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرَةٌ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ Seek Allah's help when you face the calamities, when you have any problems. Seek Allah's help. وَاسْتَعِينُوا Life is difficult. You need help. What help are you going to get? Allah mentions two things. وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ Seek help through sabr, patience, and through salah, prayer. But our Prophet his mother, uh, his, uh, our mother Aisha said, our mother Aisha said, whenever our Prophet was troubled with anything, whenever something bothered him, what would he do? Fazi'a ila salah. He would rush to stand in salah. Salah would make him calm. Salah would make him conquer those problems, those fears, those frustrations. So patience and salah are the two things that Allah has told us to seek help in. And also realize, my dear brothers and sisters, that beautiful verse in the Quran that Allah tells us fasbir sabran jamila be patient a beautiful patience so patience is of levels and the highest level is a beautiful patience and a beautiful patience is one when people don't even realize you're being patient nobody knows other than Allah that you're being patient that is the perfection of patience nobody can see you're frustrated nobody can see you're agitated nobody can see that you're feeling anger you have mastered it so much that only Allah knows and that is the perfection which Allah says fasbir sabran jamila perfect your patience until it is a perfect and beautiful patience and that is why my dear brothers and sisters Allah loves those who are patient Allah loves them and Allah is with them. In the Quran, there are only a handful of verses where Allah says, I love such and such. Some scholars have mentioned a dozen or, 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 or a little bit more than this. Just a few adjectives that Allah says, I love this category of people. Of those, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wallahu yuhibbu sabirin. Allah loves those who are patient. And Allah says that in Allah ma'as sabirin. Allah is with those who are patient. So Allah is with them. When they feel they have nobody, when they feel everyone has been taken away, they've been betrayed, when they feel that their family has gone or they've lost a loved one, Allah says, I am with them. Inna Allah ma'as sabirin. Allah is with them. No Muslim should ever feel alone. No believer should ever feel abandoned because that person, that believer has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah has promised if you are patient, then I shall be with you. And that is why a patient believer, a patient believer is worth much more than a believer who does not have patience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran, in those famous verses of Surah Al-Anfal, that the people of Mecca, the people of Medina, the Muslims were complaining, we don't have enough numbers to fight the Quraysh. The Quraysh are too numerous. They are much more than us. What does Allah say in the Quran? إِن يَكُمْ مِنْكُمْ عِشْرُونَ صَابِرُونَ يَغْلِبُوا مِئَتَيْنَ if you have 20 people who are patient amongst you, notice Allah gave the adjective. If you have 20 who are patient, they shall overcome 200 of them. So one person that is patient is equal to 10 who don't have patience. So look at how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has praised the reality of patience in the Quran. As well, Allah links His forgiveness and paradise and the heights of paradise to being patient. Once again, I repeat, Allah links His forgiveness to patience. Allah says in the Quran, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ صَبَرُ وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ أُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمْ مَغْفِرًا Those who are patient and do good, they will be the ones who are forgiven. So forgiveness from Allah is linked to patience. And entering Jannah, and the highest ranks of Jannah are also linked to being patient. Allah says in the Quran that the people of Jannah, the people of Jannah, the malaika yadkhuluna alayhim min kulli bab. The angels are entering upon them from every single door. So imagine you are in Jannah, reclining on the couches of Jannah, seeing the beauty of Jannah, and the angels are coming to greet you. What are they saying? What is the phrase of the angels? Salamun alaykum bima sabartum. Peace be on you because you were patient. So the people of Jannah got into Jannah and are being honored by the angels. Why? 
Salamun alaykum bima sabartum. Peace be on you because you demonstrated patience. So the angels have linked your place in Jannah and your status in Jannah with the reality of you demonstrating patience in this world. And not just any place of Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the highest places of Jannah. They shall be given the highest ranks. The ghurfa in the Quran means the highest chambers of Jannah. Bima sabaru, because they were patient. So patience gets you to the highest level of Jannah. And in fact, Allah Himself will congratulate you for having demonstrated patience. Quite literally in the Quran, Allah Himself will congratulate you. Allah says in the Quran, Inni jazaytuhumul yawma bima sabaru annahum humul faizun. Today, Allah speaking in the first person. And it is not common. Allah typically speaks in the third person. We shall do this or they shall be blessed. But in this verse, Allah speaks in the first person. He addresses us directly. <inaudible> Today, I shall give them all that they have earned because they were patient. So Allah Himself will take on the responsibility of rewarding those who were patient. And then Allah says, because they are the ones, أَنَّهُمْ هُمُ الْفَائِزُونَ They are the ones who have won the race. You know, in the Quran, there's this metaphor of racing to Jannah, of winning the race. Who are the real winners? Allah says, the ones who were patient, إِنَّهُمْ هُمُ الْفَائِزُونَ They're the ones who won the race in front of everybody else. And my dear brothers and sisters, the one who is patient has a guarantee from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah will help this person. When you feel all other avenues are cut off, when you feel alone, you must turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah has promised that the one who is patient, there is a guarantee Allah will take care of him. This is the reality of this world. We all go through our problems. And Allah Azza wa Jal has told us we need to go through all of these problems having mastered the art of patience. And that is why our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, no one has been given something that is better or more vast than patience. It is the best blessing to be given because again, patience and iman go hand in hand. You cannot be patient unless you have iman in Allah. And if you have iman in Allah, then that will also come with patience. And the ones who are patient shall be rewarded double for all they have done. For all they have done, they get a double, a bonus reward. Allah says, أُولَٰئِكَ يُؤْتَوْنَ أَجْرَهُمْ مَرَّتَيْنِ بِمَا صَبَرُوا those people will be rewarded double because they were patient. In fact, not just double, not just double. The only time in the Quran that Allah mentions, I shall reward without measure, without counting. Forget double, forget triple, forget times 10, forget times 700, times infinity. The only time Allah says it is what? Is when it comes to patience. إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ the ones who are patient, they shall be returned their reward without any measure or counting. Allah will not count how many times extra reward you are getting once you have mastered the art of patience. And my dear brothers and sisters, the rewards of patience, the blessings of patience go on and on and on. So patience means you are feeling something inside, but it is not being shown on the outside. The grief, the anger, the anguish, the frustration, whatever it is, patience means you let it remain there and not show it on the outside. And that is why patience is so difficult, because patience is not an action. Patience is inaction. I repeat, patience is not an action. Patience is inaction. You don't do anything. Someone has died. Your loved one has passed away. You control your tongue. You do not wail, moan, grieve in a manner that is un-Islamic. You keep your tongue in check. You lose your job. Something bad happens. You do not start moaning and complaining. Why is this happening to me? I don't deserve this to happen. Astaghfirullah. Who are you to challenge the wisdom of Allah? Who are you to stand up and say, why is this happening? Are you Allah or are you a servant of Allah? If you are a true servant of Allah, then you say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Oh Allah, you are my Lord. I don't understand, but I trust you. I trust whatever has happened, has happened for the best. I don't understand, but that's because my wisdom is 
limited. I am not questioning your wisdom, O oh Allah. I am questioning my wisdom. And I trust you, O oh Allah. You will make things better for me. This is patience. Your attitude, your optimism, your iman, your words that you say, the actions that you do. We are prohibited in Islam from wailing and grieving, from beating ourselves when somebody dies. This is all haram. When somebody passes away, we demonstrate patience. When we lose a job, when any calamity happens, when we're in grief, we need to master ourselves and remember what our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said: "Inna sabru inda sadmatil ula." Memorize this hadith, brothers and sisters, because patience, according to this hadith, is demonstrated at the first stroke of calamity. Patience is demonstrated at the first stroke of calamity. I.e., when you hear the news, how do you react? That is your patience. Everybody becomes patient in two years, in two months, in two days. Everybody becomes patient. You have to deal with it. True patience is demonstrated when? As soon as you find out the news. As soon as you hear that big disaster. What will be your reaction? إِنَّمَا الصَّبْرُ عِنْدَ الصَّدْمَةِ الْأُولَى Sabr is demonstrated at the stroke of calamity. And in order to prepare yourself for that stroke, you need to master patience. Patience is not learnt after the calamity happens. Patience has to be earned before so that when the calamity strikes, you are able to control yourself in a patient manner.